And uh, if I had, do I have a moment to tell a small story, or do you want to give it to me? <laughs> Sure. Um, just, just as the, the the type of the picture of the child that, that that we're talking about. For me, I met I met two, two men. I met a, a young man who had been, uh, for religious reasons, he had been tortured for three days. He had been set on fire and thrown in the garbage. He was very, very badly burned and infected. He was begging on the streets. He tried to get into one country. He couldn't. He was attempted to get some medical aid, and squads came in to kill everybody so he had to leave. He begged his way into Syria and he was still living as a beggar on the streets and, and his burns were becoming increasingly more infected. Ran into a little boy who's also a refugee who's selling tissues because they don't have camps, they have to make a living, they get some kind of assistance from UNHCR but that's how refugees are living in Syria. So he's selling sit tissues and this little boy ends up giving this man a little bit of water and then he said could you help me I'll give you some of my begging money but I need I need to, somebody to help me fix my wounds and this kid was scared and weeks went on and the, and the kid agreed to do it and they first did it they unwrapped these wounds forgive me they're covered in maggots and this little boy got scared and he ran and the man said he came back he came back not just for the money he came, he came back because he was a good kid when I met them they'd been together for about four months this kid had been treating this man, helping him, cleaning out his wounds, wrapping him every day, stopped giving him money, just did it because they were friends, and he continued every day to sell tissues on the street. So I said to this little boy who's about eight, you know, you be the most amazing doctor one day. You're, you're quite extraordinary. And, and I watched him undo the bandages and do all these things. And I, and I said, would you, would you like to be a doctor? And he got real sad, and he just said, no, I, I have to sell tissues. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry, but you know, if we could find a way, would you like to be doctors? Yes, ma'am, but I need to sell tissues. So that's the kind of kid we're talking about. He's an amazing, he's an amazing force for good, and he's he would be the doctor I'd want. But he's the type of kid that they're not just begging and they're not just sitting there with nothing to do, and they don't want to get involved in bad activity. They they're great young people. And we need to help them be doctors. It's your story. Fading quickly It couldn't been easier